Professor Keith Hayward Fraze considers what the future holds for UK aerospace R&D in the post-Brexit world. Reports suggest that the UK government wants to stay inside the EU research community after Brexit in 2019. Currently British researchers get more back from participation in U-funded programs than they put in, a positive balance of over £3 billion a year. The aerospace sector accesses generic programs totaling €70 billion Euros a year wrapped up in the Horizon 2020, CSER and Clean Sky programs. The UK government also wants similar pay-as-you-go participation in U-funded space activities such as Galileo and Copernicus The UK is likely to remain in s sponsored activities. Expect a harder bargain on how much the UK pays into the programs and how much it can expect it get out of them crucially, this activity focuses on basic research, the building blocks of future industrial competitiveness. Eufending supplements the UK Agpati National RD activities worth some £900 million up to 2026, with a greater leverage of working and collaboration that might extend to nearer market projects. Defence RD The EU is now boosting Defence RD. Dassault The EU is also ramping up its funding of basic defence RD, aiming at a yearly input of €5.5 billion Euros by 2020. Aerospace-related projects figure prominently in the first call for programs. This comes at a time when the UK has been spending less than ever on such research at home. Despite a 1.2% target allocation of the MOTS budget to development work, the actually money spent in the sector has halved since 2001. With reports that continental companies are reluctant to partner with outbist players, falling domestic and barriers to youth and work will undermine the future quality of UK defence industry output and the value of the UK as a partner in international programmes. The British government's hopes of doing a deal with the EU27 on both civil and defence RD will depend on the wider outcome of Brexit negotiations and the willingness of its EU partners to accept this a la carte approach to European research. This might smack of the cake and eat it aspiration, which has not been appreciated in Brussels and beyond. Much will depend on whether the EU will view the UK as such a valued partner that it would still welcome British participation. Even if the UK government can deliver on this goal, expect a harder bargain on how much the UK pays into the programs and how much it can expect it get out of them. Keith Hayward 19 September 2017